Well, the South Carolina Gamecocks travel to Nashville, Tennessee, home of the Vanderbilt Commodores for an SEC battle on Saturday in a game that kicks off at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time, and it will be televised by the SEC Network. Uh, this is an interesting matchup in the fact that both teams are coming off upset wins, so which of these teams is going to respond the best after uh, those types of upset wins, which always uh, you have to consider teams coming off huge upset wins are uh, vulnerable to a flat spot. Uh, so I'm going to be covering that and much more. So stay tuned, folks. Don't forget, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please take a second to do so. Just hit that subscribe button below. It's absolutely free. You'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world right here on Wager Talk TV. And you'll get anything from podcasts to free pick videos such as this one or instructional uh, sports betting videos as well. So click on the alert notification bell in your YouTube settings for Wager Talk TV after you subscribe and you'll be privy to some or you'll be notified, excuse me, uh, once any of our content goes up on our great channel. Also, there's a like button right underneath, folks. I would kindly ask you do me a, a, a solid and hit at, they hit that like button just as a small token of your appreciation. And if you don't feel like you want to do that, that's fine, too. I appreciate you watching and tuning in. All right, let's get to the meat and potatoes. South Carolina at Vanderbilt. This South Carolina team comes in at 5-3. and three, And Vanderbilt, a very surprising 6-3 and three this season, already uh, bowl eligible. And uh, it's when, you, when you're bowl eligible at Vander, with the Vanderbilt football program, um, it's always a, a successful season. But I think Coach Lee would like much, much more from this team and uh, rightfully so. South Carolina right now is a three-and-a-half-point road favorite. I mentioned both teams are coming off upset wins. South Carolina um, is coming off a 44-20 win over Texas A&M, which snapped their six-game win streak, meaning Texas A&M, and they did so as a home underdog of plus three in that contest. And quite frankly, they dominated the contest from the second half on and uh, Texas A&M just had no answer, especially on the defensive side of the ball, where South Carolina piled up 530 yards of total offense in that game and, uh, again, handed the Aggies their first loss in seven tries. Now they come up as a three-and-a-half-point favorite on the road against a very formidable Vanderbilt team. So Vanderbilt also coming off an upset win. Uh, at Auburn last week, they were a seven-point underdog. They won the game outright 17-7. to seven. They had less than 300 yards of total offense, but this Commodore team just finds ways to win and hang in games. And uh, look, at they've been an underdog in six of their nine games this season. They've won four of them outright. They covered all six, and that includes uh, a loss to Texas by three. As a 17-point underdog, Texas currently in the top 10. Uh, Missouri on the road earlier this season when the Tigers were ranked. Uh, they lost that game 30-27 to in overtime, and they missed three field goals in that contest. So they could have been on the right side of either one of those games. And they also uh, handed the Alabama Crimson Tide their first loss of the season at that time, beating them 40-35 to as a 22 and a half point home underdog. So impressive win for Vandy. And they just seem like every time you think they're a fluke and they're going to lay down, this team just continues to play strong. Uh, they had one bad game this year. That was at Georgia state losing by four to three losses have come by a combined 10 points this year. Uh, anytime you have a college football home underdog like Vanderbilt of six and a half or less, um, and they're coming off a straight-up underdog win in which they allowed 21 points or less, like they did last week, winning as a road underdog at Vanderbilt 17-7 uh, or facing an opponent uh, like uh, their opponent on Saturday, South Carolina, who's coming off a straight-up underdog, well, actually a home dog straight-up win by 10 points or more, which the Gamecocks are as they hammered. Uh, Texas A&M last week, those home underdogs of six and a half or less in that specific situation have gone 11 and 0 against the spread and won 10 of those 11 games 
straight up since 1999. I like Vanderbilt plus three and a half over South Carolina. Again, that uh, real quickly, if you want to make note of this college football betting angle, anytime you have a college football home underdog of six and a half or less coming off a straight up underdog win in which they allowed 21 points or fewer and they're facing an opponent coming off a home dog straight up win by 10 points or more, 11 and 0 ATS and 10 and 1 straight up since 1999. Anytime you can get an underdog college football betting angle in which it's perfect in terms of ATS and, and uh, you have over a 90% uh, win rate and from a straight up standpoint, that's a hell of a uh, college football betting angle. Anyway, Vanderbilt plus three and a half over South Carolina. Folks, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. By the way, folks, a couple of really good offers going right now in our college football and NFL annual packages over uh, at Wager Talk. And uh, quite frankly, all you need to do is uh, just use the promo code FBALL50 at checkout for any one of those packages, and uh, you'll receive $50 off. In, in my particular instance, uh, my personal link, wt.buzz slash RB, right below. Uh, if you buy my college football annual package, it's uh, currently priced at $329. By using that promo code at checkout, it'll take you down to $279. And my NFL at $429, it will take you down to $379. That's wt.buzz slash RB. And don't forget my NBA, folks. I've been making a killing in the NBA over the last couple seasons. $7.95 for an annual package. You could also purchase a seven-day or 30-day package in the NBA. Also, college football or college basketball, excuse me, is upon us. I haven't released anything yet, as I like to tread lightly at the beginning of the season, but uh, very good uh, records in college basketball as well, basketball overall in general. And you could check out my hot streaks again at my personal link, wt.buzz.rb. Until the next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. I'm Ross Benjamin. Take care and God bless, folks.